The brain is your powerhouse. It processes your thoughts, memories, emotions, and even controls motor functions. What this means is that your brain is extremely important for your survival and success. Most people don't give their brains much thought. They take it for granted. They can move around, remember things, differentiate between things, and analyze situations. Imagine for a second if something went wrong. Some habits can actually slowly damage your brain. In this video, I'm going to share with you nine thoughts that damage your brain. 1. Watching too much TV. When you spend a lot of time watching TV, it generally means less time reading or doing something productive. According to Wonderopolis, a health and wellness website, people who watch more than four hours of TV a day are more likely to be obese. Watching too much TV might also lead to more aggressive behavior. Watching too much TV or Netflix may, after all, not be the best idea. We model what we are exposed to. It is our natural predisposition. This means that if we watch violence, sex and drugs a lot, we're more likely to indulge in them. If you're still in doubt though, according to Healthline, recent research in the UK shows that regularly watching over three hours of TV each day can lead to cognitive decline in language and memory. Is your favorite show really worth it? No one says that watching your favorite show is bad. You need to spend less time watching them. According to Daisy Fancourt, a senior research fellow at the University College London, watching television has been shown in laboratory studies to lead to a more alert but less focused brain. Some television viewing is stressful, and stress is also associated with impairments in cognition. To save your brain the stress, skip a show today. 2. Not exercising your brain often. The same way your body needs exercise, your brain also needs exercise. The way to exercise the brain is by reading a book, solving a puzzle, learning a new skill, teaching someone a new skill, or playing music. When you are always sleeping or searching for necessary things on Google, your brain suffers. Do you know the meaning of a play too without checking Google? When was the last time you read a book? The 21st century technology may be making you dumber than you realize. According to an American writer, Nicholas Carr, what the net seems to be doing is chipping away my capacity for concentration and contemplation. My mind now expects to take information the way the net distributes it, in a swiftly moving stream of particles. Once I was a scuba diver in the sea of words, now I zip along the surface like a guy on a jet ski. You need to exercise your brain regularly in order to thrive in today's society. 3. Doing a lot at the same time Do you multitask a lot? You may be doing yourself more harm than good. According to a research carried out by Stanford University, people who are regularly bombarded with multiple streams of digital information have a more pronounced problem recalling information and paying attention when compared to people who undertake one task at a time. Research also supports IQ dropping as low as 15% while multitasking. What's your hurry? Do you have a deadline? Don't we all? Instead of trying to do them all at once, why not split the time among the tasks to do them one by one? A lot of the time, if you try doing them all, you would end up doing a bad job. Then you will panic because you don't have enough time to redo them all and then you will panic all the more. You need to breathe. The world is not going to end because your task is not ready. Try starting early so you can spend time doing them to the standard you want. That way, you're not under pressure and you can unleash your creativity. If you're a manager, try not to give anyone more than one task at any given time. It can lead to work-induced stress and poor output. 4. Flying frequently Did you know flying frequently can damage your brain? I thought right. I was shocked too. According to a recent study from the University of Bristol, 20 female aircrew members who flew across seven time zones regularly had their short-term objective memory and very simple abstract cognition affected. They also suggested that the damage may become permanent if suffered repeatedly over the long term. Human beings were after all designed with legs and not wings. Flying is great. It gets you to your destination faster. But seriously, you need to consider what it's doing to you. If you're always flying, you should reconsider your options. People are fine until they are not. It is not wise to wait for something to happen first. There is always the road. If you have a sound car and stay within the speed limit, you will be fine. Plus, you will get a lot of time to think and reflect. 5. Not sleeping frequently Your brain needs rest just as your body needs rest. Not getting enough sleep 
can damage your brain in the long run. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, USA, a third of 440,000 people are getting less than seven hours of sleep per night. How much sleep are you currently getting? An average adult needs at least eight hours of sleep per day. I know some of us are getting just four hours of sleep. To what end? Will your wealth be worth it if you're too sick to actually enjoy it? Recent studies have also shown that not getting enough sleep will reduce cognitive function and actually kill brain cells. I think it is a good idea to start getting some sleep. If you can't sleep, book an appointment at the hospital. The doctor will know what to do. 6. Being alone all the time. Human beings are wired for social interaction. Being alone was probably not a smart move. Here's why. People who have just few friends are actually less likely to have brain decline or Alzheimer's disease. Even if you feel okay being alone, your brain may disagree. You see, just like weightlifting is an exercise for your chest and your hands, conversations are exercise for your brain. Having friends you chat with just isn't going to cut it. There are too many communication gaps across social media. According to a recent study conducted by the University of Michigan, 10 minutes of conversation today with a person can improve memory and cognition. Call a friend today. 7. Reading too many things at the same time. Just like multitasking, your brain is not compatible with receiving multiple information at the same time. You're not a computer. You're human. Humans are, of course, smarter and more flexible than computers. However, computers have an advantage. They can process a lot of data using complex algorithms, but our brain doesn't work that way. 8. Excess nicotine consumption. Smoking can literally shrink your brain. It is not something you want to do long term. It also makes you susceptible to dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Your brain is very essential for everything. You do not want to sabotage it. You can become like a vegetable. I'm sure you don't want that. Do you want to spend your old age walking around and yelling at everyone, with no one in your family willing to care for you? Or do you want to forget your grandchildren's names and be reminded every single time you see them? If you know how sad these things can make others, while indulging in habits that will eventually lead you there. 9. Excessive drinking. Drinking is fine. It's excessive drinking that is the problem. According to a recent study by the British Medical Journal, people who consume moderate amounts of alcohol weekly were three times more likely to have damage to the area of the brain responsible for memory and spatial navigation. Memory loss is very common among heavy drinkers. You really shouldn't drink so much. The bar is always going to be there. Why do you have to take so many bottles at a time? Does a drink contain secret nutrients that give people success or insight beyond what men can perceive? There is really no benefit other than satisfying gluttony that will come for you in due time. If you care about your health, you need to reduce your alcohol intake. It is alright to go to therapy about it. You can even join a group therapy session. Work on yourself. People will not trust you if they know you drink carelessly. A careless drinker is assumed to spill everyone's secret in a drunken spree.